You're listening to Broken Mold Ministry, where the bits and bites shout for the joy and praise of Jesus Christ. Well, the trouble we're going to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen, is vanity. This is a big, big portion of several people's bag of trouble. Vanity. Oh, you've got even these ones that only think that church is every Sunday. You're a Christian every Sunday, and you got to get all dressed up every Sunday, and you got to look your best every Sunday, and you got to be your best every Sunday, and you got to give Jesus your best every Sunday, and you got to give your best to Jesus every Sunday, and that you are loyal to Christ every Sunday, but the rest of the week you are a pile of crap. And then somebody cuts you off in the highway and you chase them down to the next garage or the next intersection or the next spot where you can get a hold of them and you jump out of your car and you act like a totally crazed monster shouting all kinds of vulgarities and I mean vulgarities and you've got your hair extensions just a swinging all over the place and you're acting like a total monster and your declaration to them is that they need to find Jesus? They need to find Jesus? Hold on a moment. You're acting like a total idiot, and you're telling them they need to find Jesus? Let's look at this for a moment. You just got done the day before, which was Sunday, because this is Monday, Dressing up all nice and fine and proper to look better than the other sisters. You just got dressed up all fine so you can look better than the other sisters. 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 And now you acting worse than any of the other sisters. Worse than the other sisters on Monday. And you have the gall to tell this person they need to find Jesus. What's wrong with this picture? I'll tell you what's wrong with this picture. You are a Sunday-only Christian pile of garbage. That's what's wrong with this picture, sister. Your pastor needs to walk all up and down you. That's what's wrong with this picture, sister. If you do not obey Christ all through your week and you don't go and dress up like you the princess belle of the party all through the week, don't bother doing it just on Sunday. You want to act like you're best than ivory soap on Sunday and act like you need to be washed with Gojo the rest of the week? Uh-uh. Wrong. You sinful lamb. Your pastor needs to be teaching you better. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to repent. You are a false conversion. You are a false conversion. You are a false conversion. The love of God is not in you. Just because you dress up and look like you're a Christmas package does not make the present inside worth anything. The present inside should be worthy of God, whether it's wrapped surprisingly well or not. If somebody makes you angry by cutting you off in the road, where is your forgiveness? And even if you do make the mistake of overreacting, why the vocal surge? Is that Christ-like, sister?
and to proclaim Jesus' name in vain, knowing that you are an empty vessel. You are an empty vessel. You are an empty vessel proclaiming His name. What does that do for your spirit? Go ahead. Paint the empty vase as nice as you possibly can. But the vase is still empty. Get right with the right Jesus. I can't say it any stronger to you, sister. Get right with the right Jesus. Put him in your heart. Have peace. Greater is he that would be within you than he that is in the world. If you get cut off, and we live in a world where we're living in but a blink of the eye, that portion of your life where you're cut off, how much less of a blink of an eye can that possibly be? Wouldn't you think that that offense could be ignored? This is Pastor Bob with Broken Mold Ministries saying, Have the right Jesus in your heart. Do not wrap yourself up with great adornment and braided hair to try to be better than the others on Sunday because you will only be a Sunday Christian. Wrap yourself with the love of Christ Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all equally. Amen? The clock is ticking for you and me. We are all going to die one day. Each of us has an appointment with death. You know where you're going when you die. Consider the state of your soul, your eternal salvation. You know that when you steal it's wrong. You know that when you lie it's wrong. Your conscience bears witness. And the way to hell has been paved by our own sin. And the Bible says that everything before God is open and naked and bare. Yes, God is love, but He's also just, holy and righteous. We offended God by lying. We offended God by stealing. We offended God by looking at lust. And I'm saying to you that each one of us is dying through sin. But Christ, 2,000 years ago, died on a cross. He was crucified. He took the punishment that you and I deserve. He paved the way with his own blood. He came that you may not perish. We've got to get right with God. We must repent. Get right with God. Don't leave it another minute. As you may not have another minute.